Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about one of the best, if not the best, optimization app for Windows 11 24H2. Of course, it works on any Windows 11 version, but we're talking about the latest Windows 11 version here, 24H2. It's a completely free app that you can get from the Microsoft Store. So in this video, I'm going to show you the Win Toys app and what it can do with it in Windows 11. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with a video. This video is sponsored by private internet access. A virtual private network or VPN for shorts hides your IP address and safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. Streaming services such as Netflix have different library options based on where you are located. Using private internet access, you will be able to watch those shows or movies that are not available in your current location. Make sure to check out private internet access in the links from the description below for a great deal. 83% discount and 4 months free. So of course, first of all, we're going to open up the Microsoft Store and search for the Win Toys app. And you should find the app really fast because it is only an app which is called like that, Win Toys. A huge shout out to the creator of this app. It's a pretty good app. It has a lot of ratings, as you can see, and a very, very good rating overall. And the app is really, really nice. It supports dark mode and uh, all around it matches the Windows 11 design principles. So let's just click on Get and the app will be installed in a few seconds. It is a pretty small app, only about 70 megabytes. Let's click on Open and on User Account Control, of course, we're gonna click on Yes. So this is how the app looks, of course. We have a hello pop-up here. And in the first section, basically in the home section, we have the system, we have the graphics card, the processor, of course. Here we're using a virtual machine, but I think we have enough resources to test out all the features. And we can see here some interesting statistics about our system, the number of apps, processes, services, space cleaned, processor, video card, memory, and network. You can also run a benchmark if you want using this section. We're not gonna do that right now. now let's move on to the next section, which is apps. In the apps section, you'll notice that we have a pretty similar page with the one that we have in the Windows 11 settings app. But here we have more options and we can uninstall more apps compared to the normal settings app. So in the European economic area, basically in EU, you are able to uninstall Microsoft Edge by default in Windows 11. But if you are from the US, for example, you are not allowed to do that. And of course, you can search the Microsoft Edge app and uninstall it really easily. But if we're going to go to certain apps, for example, Google Chrome, you're going to notice that we have certain options. Of course, not all the options will be available for all apps. We have open, close, browse, search, and also reset. And as I've said, you are allowed to search, to refresh, to filter, and so on. Let's move on to services. This is also something that is expanded from the task manager section of services, but yet again, with more functions and features. So here, basically, if you're scrolling down, we're going to notice all the services that Windows uses. You can see, of course, uh, which services are running, which are automatic, which are manual. You can filter them, for example, shop services, automatic, and so on. Of course, you can filter them alphabetically if you want. But if you go into these three dots in your service, you have the start, stop, restart, browse, search, and mode. And of course, you can switch the mode, automatic, manual, disabled. This, of course, can be useful in some cases. Let's move on to performance. And here, we're just going to see some of the most interesting settings that this app can provide. For example, we have the ultimate performance power plan allows components to consume all the power they need for maximum performance. This is something that you can turn on really easily. If you click on this button, the legacy control panel will be opened up. You're also going to see here the option enable. You also have the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, which you can enable, of course, if you have a GPU. In this case, I'm using a VM, so I won't have that available. Also have virtualization based security, which you can enable if you want. Of course, you have the section for the startup apps. You can see all the apps that are running with Windows 11. So for example, if I have a new computer, I will automatically disable Teams and OneDrive. These two apps consume a lot of resources on startup and of course you don't want OneDrive running if you ask me on your system. We also have the relaunch apps option which automatically saves restartable apps and restart them when you sign in. This is also a pretty interesting thing. Basically something similar to browsers but this is with apps and windows. You can also allow apps to run the background, activity history, visual settings and here you can adjust the visual settings in Windows 11 for best performance, for example, but you're going to need a reboot for that. Also, you can enable or disable transparency. You also have gaming settings, game mode, window mode optimizations, background recording, and super fetch. Window mode optimizations is basically a setting that can be found also in the settings app, and it's something related to games that are being played in window mode. Also, search indexing, allow indexing to run in the background, providing fast search results. This is, of course, an option that will consume some resources, but I think it's useful to have it, even though it consumes a few resources. You also 
desktop delivery optimization and also network car network adapter onboard processor and uh, this is a pretty interesting option which basically offloads some networking functions from your CPU to the network adapters onboard processor let's move on to health and here we're also gonna see some options related to the Windows 11 health we have fast startup we have hibernation drive optimization storage sense basically some options that we have in the settings app we have repair and we can run the ISM SFC and also the check disk this is pretty interesting and pretty useful because of course you maybe you would forget the TISM command the SFC's command is pretty simple also the check disk as well but can run them directly from here so for example if I want to run SFC I'm just gonna select it and then click on scan it's gonna start the command right here we also have a memory diagnostic we have cleanup which we can use to clean up space from your taskbar junk file explorer and also system restore we have the system updates and we can choose how the system updates work of course I would recommend you to leave them on default don't play around with this because Windows 11 is highly dependent on updates if you ask me we have app updates which is enabled sleeping pill graphics driver and also icons cache which is also a pretty interesting option and finally we have the most useful or interesting thing which is tweaks in Windows 11 because we have some things that we can tweak in our operating system what I love about this app is that it uses the options that we already have but adds some options to them it doesn't use any third-party shady scripts or anything like that and I think it's a pretty nice integration into Windows 11 so for example we have changed desktop related settings like this PC icon wallpaper quality and more this is something pretty useful if you ask me for example if you have a Windows 11 copy that is not activated you won't be able to access the options to show this PC on the desktop or disable recycle bin on the desktop and so on well from this app you can do that really easily and you also have the wallpaper quality which you can use here if you want in the start menu we can include Bing search results you can disable that auto install suggestions count notifications and also show hibernate and power menu we have file explorer and these are some quick settings so for example show file extension show hidden and system items you can enable both of these of course but you're gonna have to refresh the file explorer for that to work show the preview pane for files show recycle bin in the navigation pane use checkboxes to select items sync provider notifications and also open to this is basically the first startup of the file explorer related to privacy we can disable certain things such as telemetry location customer experience app telemetry apps launches tracking and so on these are some nice settings and of course you can play around with them and disable what you don't want for example if you don't want telemetry just disable it as easy as that if you want to disable ads well this app also will allow you to do that you can disable ads from all kinds of categories for example tailored experiences advertising id suggested content and settings suggested notifications and so on in the system section we have certain quick settings that we can enable for example the clock width seconds and export exe will do a quick restart clipboard history snipping with a print screen key mouse acceleration god mode which is pretty interesting and it was added on our desktop god mode is basically a very old option or setting that allows you to see all the in-depth options that you can find in windows 11 i think that is pretty interesting all tab includes you can include all the tabs and so on user account control you can disable it forever if you want and we also have spotlight images you can extract the images from the windows spotlight directly to your lock screen we also have the settings section of course where you can change a few settings for example the theme the backdrop the landing page and a few other simple settings and of course you're gonna have to reboot if you want all the settings that require a reboot to actually work so as I've said this is a completely free app it's an app that uses the settings that we already have in Windows 11 but levels them up to the next step and I think it's a pretty useful app to have installed it's pretty small it's completely free and you can try it to see the health the performance and tweak a few things here and there inside your Windows 11 operating system as I've said a huge shout out to the creator of this app or providing this app for free i think it's a pretty nice app to have in windows 11 so as i've said of course you can get the app from the microsoft store or you can search on google we're gonna find it either way if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was your manager from tech base until next time have a nice day